This video is sponsored by Skillshare. More about them at the end of the video. Do you see the pale blue dot in this image? That's Earth, as photographed from 4 billion miles. This is our planet, home to more than 7 billion people. This incredible picture was shot by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990. It was one of the last pictures the spacecraft took before its cameras were shut down permanently. Today, Voyager is the farthest man-made object in space, at a distance of more than 14 billion miles. Even signals take more than 21 hours to get there. Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, were launched to study the outer planets of the solar system. After completing their primary missions, these two spacecraft kept going and have now entered interstellar space. After more than 44 years in space, they are still functional and are in contact with NASA via the Deep Space Network. So today, let's travel with Voyager 1 and see what the farthest spacecraft from Earth saw in its extraordinary journey in space. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, from Cape Canaveral in Florida. Following a comparatively shorter and faster trajectory than its twin Voyager 2, launched 16 days earlier. Both these probes were launched to take advantage of a planetary alignment that occurs once every 176 years. This alignment allowed them to study all the four giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, in one go. Although Voyager 1 was launched after its twin, it exited the asteroid belt before Voyager 2 and eventually overtook it on December 15, 1977. And here began the journey of a never-ending expedition. While exploring the solar system, Voyager 1 wrote four beautiful chapters of observations, and the protagonist of its first chapter was the biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. Voyager 1 followed a path that took the spacecraft only one and a half years to get to Jupiter, and eventually, in January 1979, Voyager 1 sent back its first set of Jovian images. The images sent by the probe revealed the gas giant's atmosphere to be more turbulent than what was found during the Pioneer flybys in 1973 and 1974. So on January 30, 1979, Voyager 1 started taking a picture of Jupiter every 96 seconds. These images were taken for 100 hours to generate a color time-lapse movie that depicted 10 rotations of Jupiter. In addition, the spacecraft also imaged the four Galilean moons, out of which the most significant was Io. Voyager 1 captured the bizarre yellow, orange, and brown world with at least eight active volcanoes spewing material into space. It has been one of the most breathtaking photos of the most geologically active bodies in the solar system. The probe also discovered an unknown thin ring around Jupiter, along with discovering two new moons of Jupiter, Thebe and Metis. Subsequently, after successfully exploring the Jovian family, Voyager 1 used Jupiter's enormous gravity as a springboard to head towards the protagonist of its next chapter, the ringed beauty, Saturn. On November 9, 1980, Voyager 1 became the second spacecraft to visit Saturn after its predecessor, Pioneer 11. While observing Saturn's family, Voyager 1's most exciting target was the planet's largest moon, Titan. The spacecraft passed over Titan on November 12, 1979, at a range of about 2,500 miles. The images revealed a thick atmosphere completely engulfing the moon's surface. Voyager 1 found Titan's atmosphere to be composed of 90% nitrogen. Data suggested that Titan might be the first body in the solar system, apart from Earth, where liquid might exist on the surface. Not only this, but Voyager 1 also imaged the moons Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, Dione, and Rhea. It revealed the fine structures of Saturn's complex and beautiful ring system and added the G-ring to its list of known rings. The spacecraft explored Saturn, its rings, moons, and magnetic field in detail never studied earlier. Voyager 1 made some stunning observations of Jupiter and Saturn, but because the specific trajectory and speeds required for the Titan flyby, it never got a chance to study Uranus and Neptune as Voyager 2. So here, Voyager 1 ended its voyage of outer planets and eventually used Saturn's gravity to alter its course and increase its speed. 
the boost set it on a trajectory that ultimately took it to its voyage's third chapter, which was the journey to reach the edge of the solar system. But here comes a surprise. While Voyager 1 had set itself on its journey away from the solar system, Carl Sagan made a unique request. He asked the team to point Voyager's cameras backward. So traveling at a distance of 4 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 1's cameras were pointed back. And this is when the spacecraft captured the unique photograph of its entire mission. Voyager 1 took about 60 images of the Sun and the planets, giving the first portrait of our solar system seen from the outside. The pale blue dot was one among the mosaic of these images. They were the last of 67,000 photos taken by the two Voyager spacecraft. After this, Voyager 1's cameras were turned off forever to save power and memory for the interstellar mission. On December 16, 2004, Voyager reported high values for the magnetic field's intensity at a distance of 94 AU. This indicated that the spacecraft had reached the termination shock and entered the heliosheath, a point where the solar wind slows abruptly and becomes denser and hotter. Finally, on August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft ever to exit the heliosphere and enter interstellar space. This is where the ultimate chapter of its voyage began. At present, Voyager 1 is over 150 times away from the Sun compared to the distance between Earth and the Sun. And at this distance, even radio transmissions traveling at the speed of light take over 21 hours to reach us. But even at this distance, Voyager 1 is beaming back data about interstellar space. In May 2021, Voyager 1 was in the headlines for detecting an unexpected steady hum of plasma waves in interstellar space. The spacecraft's abilities have surprised us again and again, and even at a distance of 14.2 billion miles is not hindering Voyager 1 from performing its duties. However, with every passing second, the probe is losing its fuel. It's expected by the mid-2020s it won't be able to power even a single instrument and eventually, by its 50th anniversary in 2027, Voyager 1 will bid us a final goodbye before diving silently into its eternal journey among the stars, forever voyaging the unexplored. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Rishabh Nakra and I'm the founder of The Secrets of the Universe. This video was sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community with thousands of courses for creative and curious minds. Since I am a physics student, also interested in graphic designing and video making, I love Skillshare because it's created specifically for learning. It has no ads and new courses are added regularly. For example, I have been taking this course on Adobe Illustrator by Daniel Scott and I am absolutely loving it. You can see how the course has been divided into chapters that you can watch anytime. So whether you are a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you are creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today.